Hello everyone, it's cold. I'm wearing my Kingdom Hearts hoodie because it's cold. The cat just ran by. But I'm recording a vlog directly after work this time, that way there's better lighting. Um, I did have a good day, but of course, you know, once you have a good day, somebody has to poo on it, which is really, really sad. I'm so tired of people pooing on it. And of course, as usual, it's my dad. Because he always has to be grouchy about something, and it's a little bit upsetting. But anyways, it doesn't matter, because I was thinking about this vlog even, like, last night, and it's going to be one that I hope is inspiring to people, so I'm not going to let what he did get me down. Alright, so, I don't know how things are at places where you guys work, but where I work, you know, there's a little group, a little clique, and... Honestly, I think that crap like that should be, like, over, you know, this isn't high school. You treat everyone equal, you treat people with respect. They're your co-workers, not people you talk about behind their backs. You know, um, anybody who's considered different, out of this clique. And it's like a clique of three or four people that are just, like, you know, in this little thing that we're a part of. And, um, you know, I'm relatively new, I'm quiet, and I know that I'm weird, and I have no problems with that. And honestly, them talking crap about me doesn't really affect me at all because I know I'm doing a good job, I know I'm working hard, so I don't really care about satisfying their opinion at all. So yeah, um, that's the part that really doesn't bother me at all. I don't care because I'm not there to make friends. I'm there to do a job and do a good job and do what the manager says because that's how I work. Um, but, you know, um, there was a person, you know, I talked to you about it, the person I first at first didn't like, but now I found out she's cool. She's told me about a few of the things that people do, and it was just like, bleh. Because, you know, I, I, I haven't dealt with it hands-on, I don't think, like it might have been. But with me, with Asperger's, it's hard for me to tell, like, if somebody's actually treating me bad or not. Like, you have to be, like, seriously, like, in my face, blunt about it, because I don't always understand. But anyways, um, me and her, um, you know, we're going to work grocery again today because I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I don't mind grocery. I don't mind working anything. The only thing I don't like is binning. But, you know, I make the best of it. So you could literally put me in pretty much any job there and I would be totally happy as long as it's like an overnight job. Um, but yeah, we were set over there and she said, I'm actually happy working in grocery. And then, like, the look on one of the girls from the clicks faces, like, like, she looked like she was severely unhappy about that, so, um, you know, we head over, and then, um, the manager tells us that we need to get, be done by, um, midnight, which we're never done by midnight, because there's a lot of stuff to do over there, but we do our best, and we work fast, we do, um, anyways, you know, suddenly she's gone, and one of the people from the click are there, and I'm like, that's awkward. So what I can see from that is they didn't want us to be happy working together. They literally wanted to make find a way to make us feel miserable. And it didn't work. I mean, I don't know if it worked on her, but it doesn't work on me. Because I genuinely don't really dislike anybody. Like, I'll avoid them if I know that they'll be mean to me. But, you know, I didn't have a problem with the person that came over instead. You know, I just kept doing my job, and I was happy. So it made me laugh because... There's literally no way to bring me down. Your stupid, petty, immature crap. It's not going to work. It's not. It's not going to affect me. I've had so many people making fun of me and bullying me over the years that it just doesn't affect me. The only people that can affect me are people that I consider close to me, the people that I let in. And those people, you know, the people at work, I'm not letting them in. I'm not making any friends. I'm getting along with people. I'm respecting people. That's it. I'm not... I'm not there to make friends. Maybe it sounds like a kind of a mean approach, but, you know, you can only, people can only get to you as much as you let them get to you. So, you're just really going to have to s decide what's important. To me, it's not important to be part of a clique, especially if it's a bunch of people that talk about other people behind their backs and are mean. Why would I, be, why would I want to be a part of that? Why would I want to be a part of somebody being mean? That's, that's just silly. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, it made me think about something that I'm going to try to do, and I actually challenge you guys to do it. You can do it for any period of time you want. 
I'd like to try to do it for myself for a week. And I've already started doing it. Like, already started doing it. I started doing it this morning. I want you people to talk about people behind their backs. And I'm dead serious. Talk about them behind their backs. But, talk good about them behind their backs. Literally, gossip in a nice way. Have good things to say about people. And if you can't say something nice, don't say anything. Literally, just find good things to say about people. Like this morning. One thing that my mother notices and that I notice is how beautiful the store looks around 7 o'clock. Because everybody's in there cleaning, everybody's making everything nice. And I literally said, I'm like, if it's not nice, Cindy will yell at them. Cindy is our manager. Um, and, you know, I'm hoping that it would make her, her feel good to know that she, her hard work of keeping everybody motivated is paying off. That she has done a good job being a good manager. I know that she lets things get to her a lot, but she's done a good job. So she should have nothing to worry about. But everybody made everything so beautiful in there. Like, I'm always so happy to, like, walk by the aisles because everything is so pretty. So, yeah, make that a goal. Right now, I'm annoyed with my dad, but I'm going to do my best to not say anything bad about him. So, that's my challenge for you guys. Whether you do it for a day or for a week, like I said, I'm doing it for a week. Just catch yourself. See what you say. And make sure that you're talking good behind people's backs, not bad. Alright? That's all I have to say for now. I'm going to see if I can get some breakfast because I'm really hungry. And yeah, have a good day.